squad of Universal Legends, and welcome to today's episode of From the Depths, where I just wanted to build a land vehicle, since I'm pretty sure we don't have one of these in the Armada. And this was like one of the only things I could think of, because, you know, well, builds, it's not like they're getting hard to decide on what to do, it's just, one, I haven't really been home, bec because I've been over my dad's house for this weekend, and two, I've been... Ooh, you're gonna hear about it later, but I've had a project in school that took up like all five hours of my day after school for two weeks. It was, I'm like, I don't even think the project was that bad. I just think the way it was structured and how, like, what I had with the project made it much more difficult than it should have been. But that's besides the point. This craft. I didn't really have too much plan for it. Like this one, I just wanted to build a simple tank. Didn't even know what weapons it was gonna use. Didn't have a style for it, nothing. Just wanted to build a land tank. The only thing I really had planned out, and that wasn't even really that good of a plan, was how I wanted the tires to be like, and that's really it. Just wanted something to build and show you guys. But, whatever. whatever. Now, as you can see here, I was really just trying to see a good simple way to have all this design and looking and set up and just trying to make it nice and even. And I guess pretty decently looking. Didn't think too much about it, just went with the flow. Which is why you're gonna see that some parts don't quite go together, like that right there. Like there's no reason to have those wheels at the top, they just, add a lot of extra honestly and then you can also see them through the blocks so I just end up going through getting rid of all of them and actually putting metal there so it's a bit more reinforced and don't have to worry about it breaking off as much I know pretty weird but hey now what we're going to just end up doing a little bit is making some front like the wheels going up to the front now this one I actually wanted to have it like go here and then like go down and then kind of be like the one at the back where it's like that only that little beam wide wheels but I can I didn't think this build through at all so the way that's just kind of how it ended up coming through like how you see here which I'm not displeased about honestly I'm not the only thing that displeased me is how long it took me to, to figure out oh yeah that would be the most efficient way to do it like going back and forth between how I do on this side basically like how I go in w with one set then come back with the other another set then the other that's the only thing that really messed me up because it took me longer than it should have to figure that out and here I was just seeing what's the height of this and just getting like a kind of inclined slope for the wheels have them go through so that way it kind of has a slight tilt to it but not too much of a tilt now since this is such a small craft, you can't really use advanced cannons or cram cannons on it. So, of course, we went with lasers. Now, what I will more than likely end up doing in the next build episode is I'll be making a spear. Like, a spear with rams. Well, maybe not rams, but it's gonna, you know, it's gonna basically be a flying, homing in copperhead. <laughs> So it's gonna go up in the air, it's gonna hover at a certain altitude. When an enemy spawns, it's gonna use, what was it called? It's going to use turrets, maybe? I might end up getting it to use Lua. I'll probably get a Lua code like off the work, like off the main page. Have it point at the ship and then crash into it. And when it hits the tip of the ship, it will shoot out its rounds. Like it'll shoot out its, advanced cannons which will more than like advanced cannon shots which will more than likely be hesh because you know high armor penetration well high armor damage good for breaking up the stronger targets maybe a bit wasted on those lighter targets but hey it's better than using drone nukes and honestly I was thinking about that but you know and well that's the thing about the armada we aren't practical, we're fun. So, with that all said and done, I've just been 
trying to think of what I could do. Like, a friend gave me a suggestion. How about a submarine that goes up in the air and, well, yeah, just goes up, like, goes in the water. When it finds its target, it shoots up in the air like a rocket and then rams into its target. I told my friend I would do that and that that would also be kind of stupid to do. Not because it, like, not because it's a dumb idea or anything. Actually, in this type of game, that would be quite fun. I'm just saying trying to figure out how to get that set up would be so, it's going to take a good while. So, yeah, most of that's probably going to end up being cut out in the actual vid video. But for me, that might be a good few hours trying to figure out how to get the mechanics to work like that. Now, here, I didn't want to make too complicated missiles. I just wanted to make some simple swarm missiles that would go to the target and then just kind of blow stuff up and I went with the variable thruster so I could get them to go twice as fast not really as far but you know that's not as much importance to me especially since this is gonna be a vehicle that stops at only 800 meters away now this was really spontaneous the scorpion tail tails actually I don't I didn't even plan on doing this like at the start of the build just something I thought would be neat so started going out up and out then you're gonna see me figure out a much better way to do that since I'm gonna have to change how it's set up anyways and don't use wedges just gonna say that right now unless your build style can most certainly fit the wedges do not use wedges because they don't quite like here I mean they do fit but they also don't fit because they don't commit to quite high enough of a slope and you know since this is a scorpion tail well, actually, looking at them now, they kind of look nice. I might end up changing it back, but more than likely, I'm going to keep them as the regular slope facing downward. Now, I don't even know why it took so long for me to figure out how to get this middle working. Like, all I had to do was mirror it. That's all I had to do. And I'm pretty sure I broke it off a good three times before I figured out how to actually get it to mirror. Like, that was the first time. Here's the second time as I try and break it off and oh no there we go broken again and here's the third try I believe where I actually figured it out and got it set up correctly now here you can see the contour between like going down slope to the like the going down slope from the wedge and here I was just going to name it the scorpion tank realize I'm pretty sure I have something like that in here and named the Scorpio like it wasn't my own take it was just like one I downloaded from the community a while ago and you know so now that I have just thought of a few things I decided I'm gonna make since this is using missiles this can be a pretty decently long-range ship and then I, I don't know that's when I realized oh yeah probably should give this thing an engine so I was going to try and use a fuel engine at first but to get it to fit in such an area would be quite difficult not because it like not because you can't do it and it would be bad just because of how you would have to get the exhaust pipes the exhaust pipes would not really work here otherwise it would defeat the purpose of making the extra layer of armor since you wouldn't be able to get them all to go out through one hole which is mitigating the weak spots in your armor so after looking back at this I just went back and like an idiot, even though I was reading that there's only 0 0.8 meters of area, I didn't quite figure out that it wasn't like actually working until a good time later in the build where I finally just went through and actually looked and flipped them the right way because steam turbines quite strange in my opinion. Now, I only went with four repair bots that actually I'm pretty sure can't get to anywhere in the craft but that's mostly just so it can repair out of play and here I go through and get rid of that extra layer of metal outside the wheels that way we're not just wasting resources if this thing ever goes in a campaign campaign your campaign not mine more than likely if I do a campaign I these would the armada would be its own thing maybe the project for uh, will be like the only thing that goes actually in a campaign but that's about it now 
we're just fine tuning with the AI and I decide yeah let's go here and make sure we get here and this is where I realized yeah it's not actually working because it's not connected correctly so I go through flip it around and see that my engine charges up quickly and set it all back to the default engine now I see that we have a small amount of electric engine which honestly is more than we will probably ever need up until that point and here I decide yeah let's try and figure out how to get this thing unstuck and spoiler alert we don't get it unstuck really we just figure out that this thing is not built for this kind of terrain that's really all we find out just don't send this thing on rough terrain send it on smooth terrain only otherwise you might have to put some new wheels well since there's not much left to talk about for this build since it's just gonna be me later testing it all out and rambling on like that's the only thing I can really do now is just ramble on a bit so let me talk about Lathric's previous video oh yeah first things first I'm putting just the basic detection system on right here but yeah Lathric's previous video very very good concept like having a rocket that shoots up rockets like a satellite into the air and then it brings it back now I think that would that's actually pretty unique I, it's not that I'm saying I couldn't think of that because I did think about like doing something like that about a year ago because at that time I found something called like a Kerbal Space Rocket Drone. It would shoot like a rocket thruster up in the air and stuff like that, but I think I am cutting it close on time. I hope not, but oh no, I'm just testing it here. But yeah, it was just a good idea. It can launch rockets and satellites up and all of the above and worry about them. And here you just see the first basic test of the rock of the thing before I finish setting up the basics of the AI. And I set it up to 2,500 is the maximum range. Come on, shoot past that. Now, if you guys want me to do something like that, I will. It's just I don't want to copy everything he does because I don't want to see be seen as someone who does that. I don't want to do that. It's not. It's not good to not have anything original, but you know, not many things on YouTube are original anymore, but coming up in a close on how much time we have left and ramming the steam puff, I just want to thank you all for watching this video and once again formally apologize for not uploading a lot this week. School has just been a bit hard on me and I want to thank you all so much for watching. Now back to the film. Well, my squad of Universal Legends, I would like to say two things. One, I apologize for the very weird upload schedule. I've been doing a project in school that's taken, oh, well, it's taken a lot of my time. A lot of very long nights. And two, thank you all for watching this episode of From the Depths and the builds I have been doing. And Scorpio seems to be working as intended a little bit. But then again, I also did just send it up against the Steam Puff. Which, if you don't know what the Steam Puff is, which more than likely you won't, it is a little drone that goes inside the Steam Shaker. And... I mean, if it was a bit bigger, I could let the missiles could target it a bit better. I didn't expect it to already be firing its next volley, but yeah. I've got it working how I want to now for some of the bills are moving towards and they don't even have magnets or momentum but okay yeah but it works just fine I hope you guys can enjoy it and like the other build I will put this on the workshop just like the steam checker once I get everything how I want to design and I get the paint like that's the real reason I haven't put it this one I won't be putting this one up just yet I just want to get the paint right and for the people waiting on the other builds Please just wait a little longer. I've, I've been busy with school, so I haven't had the ability to do what I want with them. But anyways, thank you all for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike the video if you disliked it. Subscribe to the channel for more from the depths. And as always, check out the description below for the Discord. And thank you so much for watching.